Hi, my name is Lois Bauer Bjornsson. Uh, I live in Scenery Hill, Pennsylvania, 40 minutes south of Pittsburgh. I actually used to live right over here on the north side. I'm speaking to you today. Uh, I live in the most heavily fracked county in our state. And you may wonder, what does this have to do with people from Virginia? Well, what it has to do with people from Virginia are, is, is that every single well pad has to be piped. So that's the transmission line. So currently to date around my home, we have 40 well pads, four new pads since uh, March. We have four new pipelines. This is all within a one to three mile radius of our home. So our house is completely encompassed by this. So as each pad is drilled, again, there's a transmission line that ends up in places like Virginia or Boston or other states that accept the frack gas. So every time that people in different states accept the frack gas and turn on their light switch, it is directly affecting myself and my children um, and our communities where we live with terrible air pollution and water pollution that we deal with on a daily basis. There's no slowdown to this. Um, the, the connecting dots are plastics come from fracking. Marcella Shale wants to tell you that it's natural gas, which will be shipped to the UK and other states and other uh, countries. However, the end result are the plastics. Currently, there is a proposed shell cracker plant, ethane cracker plant, a petrochemical plant, the first of proposed four plants that are going to be built within a half an hour of my house. So all of those plants, one plant will take a thousand wells per year. That will all directly come from my area and other areas. But currently, Washington County, again, is the most heavily fracked county. So we stand here with Virginia and other states that do not want to, to accept our frack gas and say, please stop taking it so there are no more pipelines. Thank you. That was good.